In this episode, OpenOffice 3.2 has been released, Opera claims 10.5 is the fastest browser, Red Hat releases a beta of RHEL 5.5, and how to add a swap file in Ubuntu Linux. Quicksurf Internet Media presents Linux News Log, separating the Linux and open source signal from the noise. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Phoenix, Arizona here in Studio C1 at Quicksurf Internet Media. Linux News Log is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to www.techpodcast.com. And if you like any of my shows, you will certainly find other technology-related shows over there as well. Let's go ahead and get into the stories for Season 10, Episode 7. For those of you who are OpenOffice users, uh, there has been a new release. OpenOffice 3.2 has been released. Um, in general, you get faster startup times, ODF support, proprietary file support, support for PostScript, media wiki support, which has been moved into an extension. Um, in calc, cell borders add now support for multiple selection, et cetera, et cetera. It's a pretty uh, extensive list of new th and improved things and or things that have been fixed. So uh, if you use openoffice.org, uh, check it out. Otherwise, if you use any of the derivatives of openoffice.org, you can expect uh, those to shortly appear with updated versions based on the 3.2 version. Let's go ahead and talk about our sponsor for this episode, GoToAssist Express. I want to tell you about a new Citrix product online that will help you save time and money and make you look like a hero to clients or colleagues. GoToAssist Express. It's an easy and secure remote support solution, purpose-built for small businesses and professionals who need to support clients. I've been so excited with the release of GoToAssist Express because there's finally a support tool that's easy and affordable. Try GoToAssist Express right now free for 30 days. For this special offer, you must visit GoToAssist.com slash techpodcast. That's GoToAssist.com slash techpodcast for a free trial. From LinuxCritic.com, Linux Mint 8 Fluxbox Edition has been released. A new version of Linux Mint 8 has been released, this time including the popular streamlined window manager Fluxbox as its main desktop environment. This release has been built with the emphasis on a lightweight and yet fully functional desktop centered on the Fluxbox window manager. Even though we strive to provide out-of-the-box readiness for all your hardware and common computing tasks, Linux Mint Fluxbox CE is easily configurable to run on lower spec hardware with the tools needed for doing so readily available. So uh, check out the Linux Mint blog for more details. From Linuxers.com, there's an article entitled Opera claims that the 10.5 browser version that they have is the fastest browser out there. Every browser claims to be the fastest these days, but Opera seems to have most of the popular browser speed tests in its favor. According to Joseph D. Lean, an Opera employee, it's because their new Karakin JavaScript engine and Vega graphics library, which offers fast JavaScript and rendering performance. And so this basically runs through um, a whole bunch of uh, tests, Sp Sun Spider, Dormeo, the V8 benchmark suite, um, and Peacemaker. And if, if you look at this, IE8 is the slowest, Whew. and Opera 10.5 actually is the fastest. Same thing uh, in the V8 benchmark suite. Chrome 4 is looks like it's slightly faster, but uh, Opera 10 is is not far behind. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know. And it really comes down to, you know, I want a fast browser. That's just what it comes down to. From LinuxNewsToday.org, uh, there's a story entitled Red Hat Releases the First Beta of RHEL Linux Version 5.5. Red Hat says it has released its first beta of Red Hat Enterprise Linux Version 5.5, providing memory allocation enhancements to the KVM hypervisor. Red Hat's new version 5.5 kernel also introduces new storage and Wi-Fi drivers and supports new AMD, IBM, and Intel processors, says the Linux vendor. 
So uh, with the new 5.5 kernel, um, the kernel-based virtual machines can now flexibly allocate more memory to the guest systems with a new runtime memory allocation feature. And using a balloon driver, part of the guest allocation can be reclaimed by the host and allocated to other guests as well. So this is kind of interesting stuff. We'll be keeping an eye on it to see how well it does. From Chromium Netbooks, Samsung Chrome OS Netbook in the making. Samsung has confirmed that it is indeed working on a Chromium netbook. Phil Newton, head of the Samsung IT Australia, said that Samsung Chromium netbook will feature a 10.1-inch display, 2 gigs of RAM, a 64-gig SSD, 3G, and 12 hours of runtime. So it'll be uh, kind of interesting when it comes out to uh, see how well it does. For our how-to section, I found this um, little short blurb on gottolearn.com, and it's entitled Adding a Swap File in Ubuntu slash Linux. This is pretty neat. Um, if you're planning to add additional swap space in Ubuntu slash Linux, follow these steps below. Number one, create a new swap file using the dd command. And it has the dd command there. Here I'm trying to create a swap file, swap new under slash for 256 megabytes. Number two, new now set up swap area using mkswap as below, sudo mkswap slash swap under bar new. Three, activate, activate swap file running swap on, sudo swap on slash swap under bar new. Now the swap file should be activated and you can check it using the free command below as a sample output. So this is an easy way, if you need more swap space, it's an easy way to add it. That'll pretty much do it for this edition of Linux News Log. As always, I thank you so much for listening and watching. Um, here we've moved into a new studio, so I'll be making some uh, changes here and there. I've, I am now out of Studio BR2, and I'm in Studio C1, so that'll be interesting. As always, you can visit us on the web, linux.quicksurf.com. You can shoot me an email, linux at quicksurf.com. You can also check me out online, twitter.com slash adrian underscore bacon. And uh, I have links up to my YouTube, blip.tv, Vimeo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a bajillion ways of getting a hold of me online, so uh, check those all out. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.